How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for Heem Ankh for step one and step two. This type of question shows up all the time on the NBMEs. Very difficult uh, for me to discuss because this could be a very lengthy clip, okay? Some of you are going to want extensive detail, but I have to keep this concise for the sake of the YouTube. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, a man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now let's start the clip. 39-year-old man. He has a three-month history of progressive fatigue and a 15-pound weight loss. We have this smear here, which I'll talk about in a moment. And then we have the bloods. Hemoglobin is normal at 13 grams per deciliter. Should be 13 to 17.5 and non-menstruating women and men, 12 to 17.5 in menstruating women. White blood cells elevated at 24,000 per microliter, should be four to 11,000 per microliter. And then we have all these cells written out, okay? It looks uh, kind of confusing. You say, I don't know where to start. I'll talk about this in a moment, make it simple. And then our platelets are at the upper end of normal, 40, uh, 450,000 per microliter, should be 150 to 450,000 per microliter. So let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, our rods, wrong fucking answer. This refers to AML, acute myelogenous leukemia, which clearly we don't have them on the image here anyway. Okay, so if they want AML, you say, well, I don't know how to like approach an AML question. How would I know? I'll tell you real fucking simple. There's two ways going to present in US Millie. The first is they'll start off with hemoglobin white blood cells, pretty similar like we have here. And then rather than giving you all of these cells written out, the ones I've highlighted, they'll just say 30% blasts, 50% blasts. That's it. That's literally all they're going to say. And the answer is just AML. Or they'll just give you the R rods, okay, the past level image. The, the importance of knowing about R rods and AML is because if you get an image and they're actually there, if you don't know to look for them, you actually won't see them, okay? You have to like beforehand say, okay, I'm gonna try to look for our rods right now. Oh, okay, there they are, right? As opposed to they just jump out at you. Point is, AML, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, clock face chromatin, wrong answer. This refers to multiple myeloma. This is just the colloquial buzzy way of describing how the chromatin looks within the plasma cells. We could do a lengthy clip talking about multiple myeloma, okay? But it's usually back pain in the elderly person, lytic lesions, hypercalcemia, Benz Jones proanuria, high ESR, okay, et cetera. So uh, it's, a, it's a plasma cell disorder, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, EGFR, tyrosine kinase, wrong answer. This could refer to non-small cell lung cancer, among other cancers, of course, but there's a drug assessed on step one called erlotinib. Erlotinib, okay? It targets EGFR, tyrosine kinase in non-small cell lung cancer. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, fusion protein is the correct answer. This refers to CML, the diagnosis here. Fusion protein is the BCR, ABL, oncogenic tyrosine kinase. It's a fusion protein. Okay. So 922 translocation, Philadelphia chromosome. Okay. Fusion protein, BCR able oncogenic tyrosine kinase and imatinib is the treatment. Okay. And that drug can cause fluid retention slash peripheral edema. Now, when we talk about CML, this is a very, very buzzy image. Okay. I describe this as a motley mix or a soup. Okay, we have all these colloquialisms like clock face chromatin pathologists have come up with. I fucking came up with motley mix slash soup. That isn't that what this looks like here? You say, no idea what I'm fucking looking at. And I say, well, doesn't it kind of look like a soup? Just like a, a motley mix? This is this is what CML looks like. Okay, and very buzzy image. Now, if they don't give you this image here and you're reliant on the labs, as I said before, with AML, they'll just give you like 30 or 50 percent blasts. That's it. Here, we have a lot of weird sounding cells that have myelo in them, metamyelocytes, myelocytes, okay? They could say promyelocytes. So you're gonna get those cells on the distribution. And student says, I don't know what the diagnosis is. And I say, well, all those weird cells there, they have myelo in them, don't they? And I'm like, this is CML, okay? So very high yield, this diagnosis here. Now, I, I, as I said, I wanna get too crazy tangential, but you should be aware in uh, rare circumstances, leukemoid reaction can present with uh, these cells as well. In CML, you're gonna have a low leukocyte ALP, alkaline phosphatase, and leukemoid reaction would be a high leukocyte ALP. And in leukemoid reaction, it's going to be an infection in that setting, okay? That's what they're gonna give you, like a UTI and super high white blood cells. That, and the smear would show you neutrophilia, okay? You'll just see a bunch of neutrophils there not this motley mix. So Samoan bodies, wrong fucking answer. This is one of the most overrated details in USMLE history, 
okay? Super low yield, okay? But students will fixate on them as though, oh my God, what are the cancers that you see some own bodies? I've seen like one or two questions, maybe tops across the thousands of questions on the NBME exams, but they're seen in serous adenocarcinoma of the ovary, meningioma, mesothelioma, and papillary thyroid carcinoma. They're just lamellated uh, onion, skin, onion skin appearing calcium deposits. Wrong fucking answer. Smudge cells, wrong answer. This is CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. They'll give you an elderly patient who has a super fucking elevated lymph uh, leukocyte count, maybe 90,000. And you're like, holy shit, that's super fucking high. And then you'll see like 89% lymphocytes. Okay, so that's how you know it's CLL, all right? If they give you a kid in contrast, a four-year-old who has a super elevated leukocyte count, it's all lymphocytes, that would be ALL, okay? And of course, there's pertussis, which can look like ALL, that you can get a, a leukocyte count 30, 40,000 where it's all lymphocytes, okay? It's a tricky one, it can look like ALL. The point is, this is CML, this is your motley mix, the soup of an image here. You're gonna get cells such as metamyelocytes, myelocytes, promyelocytes, Okay, very high yield, uh, 922 translocation, Philadelphia chromosome. It's an oncogenic tyrosine kinase, a fusion protein. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.